Here's a question for you guys. If you're like going for legacy, are you going to try and stack the chips in your favor? Like make it some fantasy legacy that isn't real. Like, you know, you know the truth and everyone else, everyone else is it's something great. But deep down, you know that every time you went in for a fight or you done something, it was doctored or the chips were stacked in your favor. Would you feel comfortable in yourself when you're retired as a boxer? Hypothetically, obviously, not many of the boxers out there, but would you feel comfortable in yourself knowing that you've scammed everyone out there? Well, actually, scammed is a little bit harsh. I'm going to retract that. I'm not going to say scam, but would you feel like comfortable knowing that you like pulled the wool over people's eyes or, or stacked the chip in your favor every single time to, to get your legacy? Wouldn't you rather you had it so you actually want it on your own might, on your off your own back, off your own skill? And the reason why I'm asking this, right, is over the weekend, it's basically emerged that Canelo Alvarez was trying to get Badu Jack down to 180 pounds with a rehydration clause in order to make the fight for the cruiserweight title with him. Now, that's kind of nuts to me, and it's kind of nuts to everybody else. I've seen quite a few videos on it. People aren't happy. But for me, the only reason why like it doesn't make sense to me is if you're going to fight someone, you're going to call yourself a cruiserweight champion. Fight him at the cruiserweight limit. Fair enough, you're Canelo. I understand that there's a big gap between 175 and 200 pounds, so you could technically land him anywhere in between. Even if you are going to try and weight drain your opponent a little bit, right? There's no need to go overboard like that because you can't expect people to take you seriously if you're doing moves like that. And that didn't sit well with me. If you want to win a world cruiserweight title, go up to the 200 pound limit, win it legit, beat him at 200 pound. Then there's no marks against your name. You become a legit champion at 200 pounds it makes no sense why would you want to drain the guy and then claim you know part of your legacy oh you've done these great things won five world titles that doesn't make sense to me for other people they're just straight he's a 200 pound fighter why are you trying to drain him you're a cheat blah 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 i'm not going that far it's not a cheat There's, the limit is 175 to 200 so anywhere in between qualifies for a cruiserweight fight he's, there's no rules being broken or anything it's just canelo alvarez tried that a side stuff that it does with everybody else and it didn't work for Badu Jack. Now, if Badu Jack was a hungry uh, cruiserweight and just started boxing and he'd just become champion, I'm sure he would consider draining himself to 180 or whatever to fight Canelo Alvarez because Canelo is the A-side and obviously Badu Jack would be trying to eat. So that would make sense if Badu Jack weren't signed by Skill Challenge Entertainment. Now he doesn't need to bow down to Canelo. So Canelo essentially wasn't able to bully him into making these ridiculous terms, like the fight under these ridiculous terms. And that, in my opinion, probably isn't the worst thing in the world. Maybe it's humbled Canelo a little bit. Like he can't always get his way and he can't always drain people. Maybe that's the, what he's taken from it. And if that is the case, well, hallelujah, that's at least a good thing I I suppose you guys got to remember that Badu Jack was a 168 fighter so essentially he's a 168 frame that's pumped up but if he was still at 168 and Canelo fought him at 168 I'm sure Canelo would beat him at 168 because Badu Jack isn't that skilled so essentially from where I'm sitting I don't see why Canelo's scared to take him on at 200 I mean essentially it's the same guy same skill set same punch power I mean putting on weight it may give you a little bit behind your punches but I don't think it's make that much difference so essentially if you could beat him at 168 which I'm sure he could he could probably beat him at 200 so for me it makes sense for him to take the fight at 200 but obviously they got other plans and to me it looks like they basically they didn't want to turn down the fight or for to either to save face or to not like seem like they're disrespecting the offer or the Saudis or whatever so they made it impossible for Badu Jack to accept it and that way in their opinion maybe they're saving face but from where I'm sitting they've lost a load of face expose themselves to trying to stack the chips in their favor in a big big way but at the same time to be fair Badu Jack does have a 168 frame if he had to make it he probably could if he was early in his career he could have probably made it but that's not the point you shouldn't really be asking someone to drain down like that to cater for your needs you can do that fair enough with other guys or whatever but if you're trying to do that with a Saudi back fighter going off Badu Jack's positioning it looks like it's not going to work I think that they know that if they want Canelo to fight in Saudi Arabia eventually they'll get him there it doesn't have to be Badu Jack they'll give someone else a Badu Jack fight it's no issue Badu Jack is a champion, let's not forget that. And Canelo will still fight in Saudi Arabia because he's money hungry and they're going to offer him money. It's just the terms. He, Canelo tried to do that bullying thing and they weren't having it, which is probably the best thing to come out of this whole negotiation situation, to be fair. Maybe it'll make him think twice before trying to get other people to, to you know, come to his weight demands or whatever. I doubt it, but you never know. It might trigger something that makes him be a little bit more considerate moving forward. I doubt it, but you never know. That's pretty much all I got for this one, guys. I mean, I don't know what my position is. I, I get that Badu Jack used to be a 168 fighter, so asking to trim down a little bit, probably not the worst like thing in the world to do, like, but within reason and trying to get him to drop 20 pounds and then putting a rehydration clause there is just basically saying, F you, you're going to do what I want you to do or there's no fight. I'm glad they didn't accept it and hopefully lessons will be learned. That's all I got for this one, guys. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. As always, like, comment, share, subscribe, or don't. I'll catch you on the next one. Love.